Hey, what's going on, you guys? Boy Swiper Boom here with another mukbang video. What's going on? How are you? Good morning. Today we're doing uh, bagels and locks from here, from our local bakery on the corner here in Manhattan, New York. Uh, I know wifey's waiting patiently for me to start eating so she can grab her sandwich. Uh, <laughs> basically, I have a cafecito right here. And then uh, bagels and locks, if you didn't know, it's just uh, we get ours with an everything bagel, toasted, cream cheese, uh, locks or locks is the definition of what? Like smoked salmon, mm. cured salmon, yeah, whatever. Cold smoked. cold smoked salmon, uh, with red onion, capers, dill, and a little bit of uh, lime juice on there. So that's basically you. You guys have seen me make this this video a bunch of times. And then I have a uh, banana nut bread muffin and a blueberry muffin. And this is a uh, pretty much uh, one of the better sandwiches I've had, even though it is conveniently on the corner from Brothers Bakery. So if you're ever in uh, Manhattan, come on down and get you a, a sandwich um, from a little local spot if you don't want to hit up any touristy uh, areas. But let's go ahead and get into it. Let me, uh, which one do I want? Do I want this one? I want this one. Okay. Let me show y'all first. Everything bagel. Let's get this thumbnail. Oh damn, it's falling. Okay. So, like I said, Bagels and Locks from right here, Manhattan, New York City, one bite. Mmm. So good. You want to say hi first? No, Come here. I look horrible. Come it's here. Not Say hi. Hi. But like, put your eye in there real quick. <laughs> which bagel, um, which uh, muffin do you want? Okay. Okay. Well, I'll leave it here for now while you eat that. Rocky, you want some too? Come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. You don't want Did you say there's tomato in it too? There's tomato in it? Mm -hmm. Oh, all right. Where? There's a tomato in it. Cafecito brought to you by Bustelo and Keurig. <laughs> Could be lazy. Can I see the new Keurig? Hmm? Can I see the new Keurig in the back? Mm-mm. Nope. Mm -hmm. We got a brand new Keurig. I don't know how you guys make your coffee. But years ago, I used to just use drip 
machines and I went to a French press. Then we got a Keurig. Never looking back. I know it's bad for the environment though. It's bad for the environment. Mm -hmm. Big business is that bad for the environment. Oh. Most of the things that we do are bad for the environment. We live in the United States. How's everybody dealing with the heat? It's hot. It's very hot out there right now. We got two in the window air conditioners pumping. And uh, what's the name brand of the AC? Me Media? Media. Media Air. It's one of those with like the slit in the middle and you put the window down and then it connects to your um, phone you can control it from wherever let's open up this uh oh by the way the the muffins at this bakery they make them very european style uh they're not like your classic super sweet muffins like uh, american style they're very uh homemade fresh and not so sweet which usually, I'm not really into that, but the homemade flavor and the fresh flavor makes up for it. So I'm kind of into it. Yeah. It's a lot of blueberries in there. Super good. Con un cafecito. Mom and dad are coming next week. Abby's been cleaning all morning. Ugh, how come you're not cleaning? I'm injured. My foot hurts. So I can't. I did go in and get a haircut today though. My barber shop is right there. I know it was quite the hassle getting there. But then once I started like putting more weight on my foot, it was good. I think I just got the gout. I've been wilding out. Hear that bang? Have you guys watched any of my TikToks with the loud bang when you live in New York City and your apartment's right next to the elevator? That's the bang. But uh, yeah. The gout, man. It's when you eat just too much sodium and too much crappy things. <clears throat> I mean, I've always been like that, but it's also a mix of I'm not drinking enough water. So I think moving <clears throat> to New York and literally just indulging the past three months with crap food, Arizona teas, chopped cheeses, <laughs> yeah this isn't crap food this is pretty good stuff um so past few days i've been just, just just drinking a lot of water soaking my foot icing it putting in i have a foot bath that heats up and massages and uh, bubbles whatever and i put a lot of epsom salt in there so i've just been doing that consistently so I feel better. I can actually walk around. Nice. Right, get into this other one.
feel like every time we get some food from here, I'm always like, oh man, this is the best I've ever had. Well, these are. These are though. This is the best bagel from Lux I've ever had. Because it's simple. Plus, we can say that because we've had Liberty, we've had Esso bagel. bagel. And I'm, well, I've had all kinds of bagels all over the city back in the day. Both were good, but this is like, this tastes like, they were a little too fancy, you know? They were, well, because those were like tourist traps. Yeah. This is like a little neighborhood joint. It just tastes fresher. I know this sounds stupid when I say this, but it also tastes like, like they, <laughs> like they just cut the onion for my sandwich. I guess that's what it tastes like. Yeah, it tastes fresh, it the capers, the everything, and it, and they make these bagels every morning, fresh. I mean, where else can you, you know. I want to go get one. Seriously. I didn't want to wild out because we're getting Puerto Rican food from La Fonda today. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's another video. I'm doing a, another video today. Uh, who told me to go to La Fonda? Ignited? Ignited. Yeah, he went there with his No, but who originally told me to go to La Fonda? What's his name? Sofrito. Sofrito. Do we not know these people's real names? Do you guys know my real name? Or you just think, oh, it's Suave Boom. What's Ignite's name? Matthew. Matthew? Yeah, what? It's not Matthew. What? I'm not trying to like, I'm not trying to stare. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not. That is not a Puerto Rican name. And how dare you just assume, you know? I don't know. <laughs> Why would you even know? He, he can be named Matthew if he what's wants a, to. What's a Puerto Rican name? I don't know. Is there not one? Matthew. Is there one? Matthew is not a Puerto Rican name. Yeah, but is there a Puerto Rican Yes. What is a typical? You ain't trapping me. Do that, your, do that in your do that in your channel. You're not canceling me. Yeah. Are Brian. Oh <laughs> well, your brother's name is Steven. Yeah. My brother's name is Steve. Esteban. You can translate that to Steven. Mexican. But Brian, Brian, Robert Matthew, o. Mm -hmm. Robert O. I have a name. What's Sofrito's name? Ben. It's not Ben. Isn't it Ben Donald? It is Ben. Yeah. Yo. What's Chu's name? You, you Jamal. No. <laughs> I'm doing a black name. Oh, really? What does the Isn't black name mean? What does the black name sound? Huh? Isn't it Troy? Troy? Isn't it? That's pretty African American. I can't say P P P C. I was going to say P O C. I think nowadays it's. I read this. Uh... You can name your kids whatever you want, by the way. I'm not like. You can, if you're Latino descent, black, whatever, you can name them, you know. What's a typical name? Ryden. Shepherd? What's a typical Brock. Shepherd name? Rocky? Rocky. <laughs> we're so basic. We, yeah, we're so we're basic. So we basic. we named you a basic German Shepherd name. I have a basic Finnish name. I have Evelina. a basic, I have Mexican. A basic me Mexican name. <laughs> this is the banana nut. This is a basic family. Yeah, we, we some basics. There we go. Oh no, I'm gonna open it the other way. Mm. Look at the top. It looks good. Super is good today. They always do this, it's super huge today. Sorry, this. I don't know. You liked this one before. Eat the top though. It's not, uh, it's really mild. It's nice. Mm -hmm. 
But I guess that's what muffins are supposed to be like. You know? They're breakfast. They're not supposed to be like cupcakes. Hello. Which are the best cakes ever. Right, Abby? Mm -mm. Abby doesn't like cupcakes. Come here, Bobby. All you see is ears. You want a muffin? I'm allergic to nuts. No, you're not. You can have one. Okay. Come on. Get down. Have some more. You don't want to be on camera for real? No. Do you want to say anything to them? No. Screw you guys! <laughs> oh, there's a, there is tomato. She's just jealous that the Suave Boom channel is slowly creeping up on her followers again. Do you guys remember that? You guys remember that? Like, when was this? 2016? When uh, Ebby and I... Chase. The 5K chase. Do you remember that? Who's going to hit 5K first? Followers. I think you won. I did win. What do you mean you think I won? I did win. Did you already forget your defeat? Mm -hmm. Already, two thousand six, seven years ago. <laughs> that was when my channel was pop. Oh, popping. I think it was two thousand sixteen. Maybe. Two thousand sixteen was when you My TikTok right now is booming. It's taking off. Is it suave booming? It's suave booming. It's crazy because my TikTok is getting more views than like my highest viewed video on YouTube, but I don't get paid on there. But I try to put my TikToks on my YouTube shorts and then those blow up and I monetize that. Man, the lighting in here is, is good. The lighting's amazing in this apartment. Mm -hmm. We haven't used our ring light once. Yeah, we haven't used the ring light like one time. Just to let everybody know, lighting in a small apartment in New York City, in Manhattan, for what we pay, is a luxury. Usually, Very. Usually you are staring at a metal wall. Yep, usually you're staring at a brick wall from the building next to you. Or you have one window from like the street side that has the lighting. And then that's it. Here, street side is over there. That's the bedroom. We come in through. That's the door right there. And I have one window right in front of me. She has, she's sitting right here. And she has a window with the same lighting that I'm getting from the south. What's that's the window? North, so that's south. Yeah. So that's what everybody says. Everybody's like, oh, you got to get a window facing south. Because that's the best lighting in New York City. Specifically in Manhattan. We have one so we do. South, one facing south north. north, and that's it. But even yours This is like south. south. It's like angled, so it's technically still south, but it's like south, like southeast. Yes, yeah, south. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, southeast. Yep. Yeah. So we have awesome lighting in this place. Super no lit up. Buildings, like, there's no the building. There's no building. We're the what? We're the highest one. The building next to us. You said hoyest. We're the hoyest up. Because the building next to us, the fire department is one floor lower, so they're not blocking that. We're looking at our rooftop. Mm -hmm. Well, that was already 20 minutes. What else do I want to say before I go? Thank you so much for having breakfast with me. Oh, I'm going to upload this here in about an hour. Later on today, we're going to do a Puerto Rican food video. So keep an eye on that. But anyways, thumbs up the video if you like it. Thumbs up if you don't. Comment, subscribe, and mama. See you in the next video. Bye. See you in the next video. Bye. Peace. Peace.